Hey guys, this is Peter, and as you know, I get some of the fastest scores out of 5G home networking possible. And as you know, I'm also testing out new antennas and 5G modems all the time. Well, I really wanted to come out with kind of a roundup of the fastest modems, because I think I found the fastest modem. But the problem is, I couldn't get the data to come out that way, which rather bothered me a little bit, but I'm going to tell you exactly what's going on. I'm going to show you the numbers that explain why I can't get the numbers that I wanted to get. So this incredible performance that you're seeing right now is actually coming from my T-Mobile free gateway. So yeah, that is now maxed out. I'm getting the best scores I ever have. And it's largely in part due to this antenna. So this is the waveform. I've reviewed this before. I'll put links to it down below. Hey, it always helps out my channel if you buy something from the channel. But uh, the important part is the good data. So uh, part of the good data came from this product. And this is the one I thought would be even faster. And I think it will be. But let me talk about why it's not there just yet. So this is an amazing product. I love the fact that it's a modem only because I don't think any of the gateways do a good job at being an access point as well. So uh, what I wanted to do is show you how this one was going to blow doors on everything. But as it turns out, my T-Mobile is doing pretty darn good. So this Invisigig, let me jump into it really quickly, has coverage like I've never seen before. Gets more bands and aggregates them together. Not just two of them, it'll do multiple bands together. So I was pulling not just 5G NSA, meaning 5G first generation built on top of a 4G carrier signal like, like the Nokia from, uh, from uh, T-Mobile, but you can also do 5G SA. So it'll take two 5G bands, aggregate them together. I was really excited because I was pulling N25 and marrying with N41, and I thought this is going to be great. A better, faster 5G stack with no more 4G. This will blow doors off of everything. And it didn't. So it kind of bothered me. But now I found out why, and I'm going to show you. Hey, I've been working on all sorts of things. I've got three different internets at home now. I went ahead and got a business account from T-Mobile. Got this NC Go. Not a bad one as well. It's also uh, NSA, meaning it's a 4G carrier and a 5G married together. I went ahead and got a static IP to see if we can get rid of that carrier grade net. That's neat, but I also found a couple other issues, like their IPs come out of Seattle and Chicago, meaning... I'm picking up some latency and I'm losing some speed. But with this modem, I was able to take the card out and move it over. There's some tricks there, of course, but it all can be done. And I was able to get some good speeds again, but I ran into problems one more time. And here it is. This modem not only will get all these different bands, but it also gives you data like you've never seen before. The reason that this modem is able to get the scores using this antenna is I aimed it using this device. So if that's not hard to follow, this one does give you live real-time data. And I actually ran TeamViewer on my phone and TeamViewer on my desktop. So when I was on the roof, I was able to adjust the antenna like never before. And that's why I'm achieving some killer speeds. All right, but let me jump to this real quick and uh, talk about the different bands I was able to get. 5G SA, standalone 5G. I was pulling uh, N25 and N41. Here's the different bands that came back from that channel scan. So yeah, you can see there's a band 25 with a really good power score. Oh, now it's no wonder I locked into that. You're pulling less than 80 or, you know, uh, more than 80 because it's a negative number. So 73 is a killer number, nice power. And 41, 76, also great power. I was getting power numbers off the charts. I was getting quality numbers off the charts. And I was getting signal to noise radio shows approaching 30 and above. Crazy. So why was I not getting the scores that I was getting from my 5G NSA product? Here's why. It's the resources you'll see next to them. Where has, uh, where has T-Mobile assigned their resources? Well, right here. 273, that's the lion's share of it. That's on N41. Okay, well, everyone receives N41. So they're trying to take their resources and put them where everyone's going to get the greatest benefit. That sounds good. Look at this, N77. Again, that's 3.7 gigahertz. That's going to do 3.1 gigabit. Now, But right now, they're not assigning it the resources. So N41 is actually faster than N77. Now, N25, I'm totally excited about because between... 
the 600 megahertz N71 and the 2500 megahertz uh, N41, there is an N25 at 1900 megahertz. Now that one's exciting because that one will carry some bandwidth. It should be four times faster than N71. Let's take a look here. They're assigning roughly 80 to N71 and they're assigning 52 to 25. 25 is not being maxed at all. I should be getting four times my N71 score and that would be 320. I took 320 and married it to a seven, uh, seven, uh, 273. Wow, we'd be looking at really 500 scores. But here's what I'm being beat right now. If you take this resource, if you could simply add these numbers together and call it all megabits, my N41 would be 273 and it would be married together with B2. Now, why is it pulling B2? It's not because of that 78, because it would have pulled the 77 being uh, 41. 41 might be a good call. It has some good bandwidth and no one else could be on N40 or B41. N41, of course, everyone grabs. That one's interesting. But look at this. 65, there's the B2. That's the one I'm grabbing. Again, I'm pulling massive scores, but I wasn't, or massive uh, component scores, but I wasn't pulling the big speed picture because, well, the way that uh, T-Mobile's assigned their resources at today's point. So if you said, what's the fastest modem today? Well, I got to tell you, bang for the buck, it's the one they give you, okay, using this antenna. But where do I think this is all going? And is this a good buy? Absolutely. I've got my best scores because I use this to point it. And yeah, I can replicate these scores using this modem. And I'm going to be ready to take on 5G SA supporting bands like 25, N25, N66, N77. It's going to be really great. Hey, if I was in a, a spot where I needed a modem that right now could pick up something in between N41 and N71, uh, then this modem would be an excellent choice. Hey, the Arcadium will actually pick up N66. Not a bad band there altogether. But uh, if you know, a lot of people are wondering which one's better, well, for me, it would be the the uh, T-Mobile, the, the silver can made by Nokia. But I think if you were in between, it may actually be that Arcadian one. That is that black square tower. That's not a bad unit either. But uh, I have been taking a look at all sorts of things. I opened up a business account just to get this NC Go. The NC Go is interesting for a couple of reasons. Here, mine is in white. One of them has little ports on the back. These are TS9 connectors. I can plug in four antenna leads and then plug up my professional antenna and hook this up as well. Now, something odd happened. I got a business account so I can get a static IP. The static IP didn't work out entirely like I thought it would. Uh, I was, uh, well, picked up a lot of latency, lost a little bit of speed. I took out this card and put it in this modem and have been getting my scores back in line. Uh, I've been playing with the different, because of this modem, I'm able to adjust the bands that I'm getting. So I went from getting five, uh, five megabit up, you know, and like that's not gonna cut it, to over a hundred megabit up, just by just picking different channels. This modem will allow you to craft your situation. Sometimes down speed is great, but sometimes you gotta serve up. This is gonna enable you to do it. This really puts you more in control. It is an excellent piece of hardware. I was hoping to have some numbers that would just blow doors and you could say, that's amazing. You're doing double what you were doing before. But no, the reality is I can't make the numbers sing that now because the towers aren't doing what I'd want them to. Give me the keys to the tower for 20 minutes and I'll fix things. But uh, otherwise, I just got to wait. There you go, guys. That's what I've been working on. Hey, you don't want to know how you could help out my channel. I have a bunch of other videos coming and I love taking my channel different directions. Stuff that I like to find. If you watch those videos, it really helps out. Um, here's what's coming up. I got a little tiny amplifier from a company called Fosse. This one does 200 watts out. So I'm able to take, and it's small, I'm able to take my college speakers, hook them up to my computer and it sounds boomy. And if I pull out my phone and hit it with Bluetooth signal, I can pick it up easy. I wanna get one of these outside by the cabana, get some outdoor speakers because we always listen to Bluetooth speakers. This one really performs. It's gonna sound good. Finally, I have a good solution for a modern stereo because people like to pull out their phones and share music. I'm also taking a look at this. This is a LED backlighting that's dynamic. 
it takes the HDMI signal and mixes it and says, huh, all right, it's red in this corner, it's blue in this corner, and it adjusts the backlight to make it a dynamic situation. Can't wait to check that one out, but hey, take a look for it. I also have this one. Uh, a lot of, I always love these portable power stations. This one is inexpensive and it allows you to keep something like this, your internet signal up. This again, this is a little gateway. This is both ethernet and Bluetooth or <laughs> Wi-Fi together. And I'd be able into in an emergency, float this for several hours. In fact, I can even charge my notebook with it. Pretty great stuff. Uh, and then I also have this. Again, I was never really into boosters because I always picked up the wrong frequencies. This one picks up 5G. If you don't have good phone coverage inside your home, picking it up outside and then replicating it inside is an excellent idea. This one supposedly will do 5G. I can't wait to see it. So I'm gonna do that one as well. As any way, guys, hey, thanks so much for watching. Give this thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, do subscribe. All this stuff helps my channel and enables me to get other stuff that I can review for you and let you know how it's going. Even when it doesn't go my way, because, you know, I'm all about data. And if I can make the data say it, I'll say it. But when I can't, I'm going to tell you why I can't say it. So if you like that kind of response, that kind of honesty, give me a thumbs up. I do think this is the best mode I'm going. I just can't get the data to make it outperform this one right now. There you go, guys. Hey, thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Talk to you soon.